All right, so for us to be able to integrate this, we first need to know that the integral of sine x, okay, is equal to what? Let's say we are respecting x will be equal to negative cos x. So we have to know this. The integral of this is equal to this. All right, so... After knowing this, we can uh, try and change what is here be equal to one letter like it is here, okay? Since here we have got 2x, so we can make it be equal to uh, another letter, not, not x. It may be u, t, whichever letter you want apart from uh, x. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to say, let, okay, u, u is the letter which we want to be substituted here, be equal to 2x. So u be equal to this. After, we do, after we've done this, we now say du dx will be equal to 2. We now find the derivative of this. That's step number two. After we found the derivative, we now make dx subject of the formula. So it will be dx is equal to du over 2. So what I've just done here is I've just crossed multiplied. So d times 1, it's c. Uh, I mean du times 1, it's du. dx times 2, it will be uh, 2dx. Now, to make the x subject of the formula, you divide by 2 throughout. Let me just show you what I've done here. Let me just copy. I have du over dx is equal to a 2. So I just cross multiplied. So I have du is equal to 2 dx. Okay? This is what I did. And to make the x subject of the formula, I divide it by 2, divide by 2, this and this. We cancel. We remain with uh, dx du over a 2. And uh, this is what uh, we have right here. Okay? It's very important. We need to use it. So after doing that, all the most important things that we need to remain with are u and uh, the dx, which is equal to du over a 2. Okay, so now that uh, we have these two, we are good to go. We can now do the substitution. So to substitute, we shall have the integral from 0 to pi over 2 sine. Here we substitute the u. And here, where dx is, we substitute du over a 2. So now we can work out things. This one will come in front. It will be 1 over 2, since it's a fraction. So it's 1 over 2. It can come in front of the integral. And then we have a pi over 2, 0 there, sine u du. So I've just moved this 1 over 2 here. If you're able to see. Now from this stage, from this stage, remember the point where I said the integral of uh, sine u is equal to negative, uh, uh, negative cos. So it will be 1 over 2 negative cos, uh, negative cos u there and the limits. 0 is here, pi over 2 is right here. So the integral of sine u, I showed you when starting, it's a negative uh, uh, cos u. So now we can substitute this negative, since it's a uh, multiplication here, it can come outside. So it will be negative 1 over 2. And here we have cos u, pi over 2 and 0 there. So now we substitute. We substitute back the u. Remember, u is what? Eh? It's 2x. So it will be negative 1 over 2 cos 2x 
pi over 2 and 0 there. So now we can substitute on uh, on uh, on x here. We have negative uh, 1 over 2 cos, or we put the brackets, cos 2 pi, uh, pi over 2. This pi over 2, when you substitute, is equal to cos 0. When we put a 0 here, 2 times 0, it will just be a 0. So now from this stage, we can say negative 1 over 2. Here, this and this will go, so we remain with cos pi. The cos pi, it's negative 1, minus cos uh, 0, it's uh, a 1. So to simplify this, we have something like this, and uh, negative 2 there, because negative 1 minus uh, negative 1, it's negative 2. So this and this will cancel, negative and negative will cancel. We shall just remain with a 1. So our answer is equal to a 1. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe. This has been Zichamba Jacob. Bye-bye.